Trello versus Asana. In this video, I'm going to compare Trello to Asana and which one you should choose for personal use or for your business. So let's start with the pricing. Then I'm going to talk about the features of both platforms and then some insights of both platforms and which one you should choose depending on your situation. So in Trello, it's actually very easy to create a board for your team or for personal use. You want to go to a board and you can find all of them and you create a new board. So I created this one um, recently and if I go into it, you can see that it works with these, these boards with lists. So here we have the team info. So this is just a template and I'm going to show you how easy it is to customize it and to work with people. So this is the team info, current projects and completed projects. So this is a, a list in here. You can just drag and drop it into another, another list. Um, we can add a list, for example, um, video editing. And we can add it and then put it in here. And now you can add people here by um, going to invite and add people who are also in Trello. This is the way I work with people if I, if I uh, am working in a team on Trello. So again, current projects, blog redesign. Uh, so this is not really for video editing, but you get the point. People can drag it, who have this task, put it in here, then label it as green. And now everyone in this board knows that this is done. This is video edited. So now the owner of this business can drag it further and add, for example, a blue label that everyone knows, okay, it is done and it's uploaded onto the platform. And yeah, we did our tasks. So that's really nice to use in Trello. When we go to Asana, as you can see straight away, it's pretty similar to Trello. It's a little bit different, but again, whoops, when we go to the homepage, you can see it is pretty the same. Um, okay, now let's go into Asana. Here we have a, an example board as well. Here is the planning. So the instructions for this project, you can put it in here, finalist project brief. And the nice thing about this, you can uh, as assign someone to this straight away. So here I can assign myself, or if I'm working in a big team, I can uh, assign other people. Then the date when it has to be done. So for example, the 28th, uh, 28th of July, Wednesday, approval stage. So let's say um, I'm approved or I need some changes. Then the priority, I can put it on high, medium or low. Let's say this is a low priority tasks, task and then the project progress, it is in progress. Here you can add even more of these things. So this is really nice of Asana and that's why I like Asana on this part more than Trello, but we'll get into this later on. Um, here we have another task, it works basically the same. Um, you can also grab these and if this is the planning and you have to put it in milestone, for example, you can just put it in here and now it is there. So that's very nice. And as you can see, that's basically the same as in Trello. If you go to the board again, it works the same. Um, yeah, you can add as much names as you want. So you can ask, um, you can add, for example, yeah, whatever you want here. So if, if a specific person has to do it, if just anyone can do it, and if it's done, you can also change this to a board view, to a timeline view, calendar view, and dashboard. So I can tell you straight away, Asana is just as easy as Trello when you get used to it, but, this, but it's more complex. You can do more with it. Um, but the features are basically the same. So now let's go over to the inside features and the pricing of both platforms. So let's go to Trello. What I can tell you about Trello, Trello is free and it's good for free. If you don't want to pay anything, the free plan is absolutely good. Uh, when you want to switch to something more, you can always go to the business class, but I don't recommend that because you don't get um, a lot extra for paying that $10 a month. We can go to the features here. As you can see, unlimited cards, unlimited members, which is really, really good. I mean, monday.com, Reich, 
a lot of other project management tools don't have unlimited members, only up to five or even two with a free plan. Trello has unlimited members, which is great. When you go to Asana, you can see it's basically the same. They have a basic plan for zero dollars, premium and business plan for almost the same amount of dollars. You can see again, unlimited task project um, messages. Only here you have to collaborate with up to 15 teammates. So you can only have a team up to 15 members under if you want to do it for free. So if you have a big team, you still want to do it for free, definitely go for Trello uh, because yeah, you don't have to pay anything and it's still a great software. So you can see unlimited file storage, 100 megabytes per file. That's a lot. As you can see here, it is 10 megabits per file. So if you use a lot of big files, use Asana again. But if you do want to upgrade, I also don't recommend Asana. Just if you want to use Trello or Asana, always go for the free plan because the premium and the business plan are just not really worth it. You don't get the much extra things for that $10 a month. So if you choose Asana, go for the basic plan. Trello, go for the basic plan. If you do want Asana right now and you do need more than 15 teammates, and you really want to pay, yeah, of course you can go for the premium. It's not wrong. Um, then when we go to the, to the payment methods, so we can do that here. You only can pay with a credit card on Asana. So that's a shame that they don't accept bank transfer or PayPal. But if you just have a credit card, you can pay it with your credit card. And then Trello, when we go down, what payment methods do you accept? Only a loan, a credit card and not PayPal or bank transfer. So my advice right now, if you want to go for Asana, if you're not really tech savvy, you have a small business, you just want to use it for personal use, go for Trello. It's easy to use, uh, especially for personal use. If you have a small business, you don't want to pay anything, also go for Trello. If you want some more advanced things, uh, as I showed here and here, then go for Asana, up to 15 members, it's still free. I'm gonna go for the premium, if you can't do anything else. And that's basically my advice. So if this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.